We're gonna look like an idiot anyway. Well, not we, Cleveland's. Hi, my name is Cleo and welcome to a day in the life of a university student with the Apple Vision Pro. So I'm taking you on my day, my notes are just here. As you can see, this is what I have to do. I need to go to the market, go to campus, a study session. I want to try out a new recipe and ending my day with yoga because health is wealth. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Having it outside changes everything. <laughs> I'm going to the market. I have a few things that I need to buy. I'm not really sure how people are going to respond to me having this on my face while I try and talk to them. I feel this is probably, I'm less embarrassed walking around with it. I think I'm most embarrassed now that I'm gonna have to like talk to someone with this on because I would assume I can't see them and they can't really see me properly. So that's like my current feeling towards it. But we'll see how we get on. I'll ask them what they think. So wish me luck. Hi there. Just this. Do you know what this is? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's weird that I have it on? Do you think this is weird? Uh, thank you. So I can, it's like having a phone, but like in glasses. So I can, I have like all my apps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I can literally right now, I can bring up my notes and I can see. So like you're here and my notes are here. <laughs> it's super weird, but thank you so much. <laughs> okay, we have our eggs. So one thing I would say is that I don't see the point in walking around with them on, if I'm going to be really honest, because my eyesight is obviously better. And also because I'm moving, like, it's not like I would be having a video up as I'm walking, because obviously I want to be kind of present, especially in a busy environment like this. So I would say that the Apple Vision Pro for kind of a busy market day, maybe isn't that useful, but um, public transport, I can definitely see, I can see that it'd be more helpful because that's more like using your phone when you get your phone out. But I think when we get our phone out, when we're walking, it's more to check something and put it away again. But obviously, because this is on my face all the time, I, I don't feel like I have full control. So I'm going to get my cucumber and then we're going to head to campus. Success. Hmm? What are they? They're the Apple Vision Pro glasses. So it's like having a, an iPhone in my eyes. Yeah. But it's not as good as your natural eyesight. Not for swimming. Not for swimming. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to leave this behind. Hi, my name is Vanessa Abbott and I am... So I'm currently have Vanessa Abbott telling me about Erasmus X and she's literally just here. Oh, hi, Miss Me! <laughs> you saw us at Reykjavik or this may be the first time. I 
See, the thing is that I can see there are people, but I don't know if I know them. It does not like like these. So like, when you're in your apartment, because it's kind of like that natural light vibe, mm -hmm. but these lights, it kind of like is struggling. Ooh. Like I really feel like I'm very much not using my own eyes right now. I'm very lame. I often just get a for catch a situation and then yeah, like I can't see if this is good at all. Like I have no idea if this is good or not. I can see that it's pizza, but the quality level is. It's a lot of confusion. I'm gonna click off that. How was your day with the Apple Vision Pro? It's been okay. It's been a little tiring. It's a bit like driving. I imagine. You know, like yeah. you can see everything, but you're kind of using more brain power. Constantly focusing on other stuff. Yes. I can imagine. Brain Still, still crazy to talk to someone when I started sitting home. Yeah, and I think... I know that people can see you or that you can see me. Yeah, so when I was at the market, I think that was the funniest thing. Is like when I was ordering from someone, <laughs> they, I would often be like, what, what do you think of this? And they're just like, oh, it's weird. It's like talking to an alien. So no, it is a bit strange because sometimes like, I can tell that I'm just talking and then someone's like, oh, it's to me. Like, yeah. and it's quite cool that you can like, you can take it with you. Like if you need mm -hmm. to move yeah rooms you can take it with you but you can also just like leave it places as well so yeah. it's like okay i'm gonna put that like <laughs> up here and then i'm gonna get something else so what are you gonna do next so i need to get some studying in that's definitely on my to-do list so i'm gonna go do that <laughs> researching about my thesis topic which is creative clusters and I'm looking up different examples and I'm going to take some notes old-fashioned for the book. It's actually quite good. I think if you're happy to take notes then you can have up multiple things. The only thing I would say is that I don't think I can have... Oh I think I can. Wait let me try something. Ah. Yep, and I can have multiple safari windows. Right now I have a reading here. I'm about to search something else. I have my lo-fi playing behind me and I have my brainstorming up here. So I've literally created like a study session around me that no one else can see. I think the only thing that's missing is like I can't type right now. So it's a little bit slower. Like I can't type as quickly because I'm obviously doing this. But in terms of like, if you're happy to make notes, happy to kind of yeah it's actually surprisingly not bad i'm enjoying it right now like i'm really enjoying that i have lo-fi and no one else can hear it that well that's cool big up to study lo-fi <laughs> this really changed my mind you like oh you like this this i really like okay. like a lot this is i'm like oh i see so much value in this like this is where I'm like, this is kind of fun. Student approved. I enjoyed that a lot. Okay, so I'm doing yoga at the beach right now. Just gonna skip. Beautiful. Think of a pull. I'm very bad at yoga, by the way. A big head roll to the left. Just warming up the neck. Awesome. From here, spinal twist. Left hand over to your right knee. Looking over your right shoulder. And come back to center. Pull the leg. It's a bit odd, obviously, having something on your face while you're trying to do exercises, but I think yoga is perfect because it's so slow. Um, so you can kind of adjust to have this extra weight on your head. I know that there's also the meditation app, so I'm going to try that now. Hi, this is Jessica. 
and I'll be guiding you through this meditation on gratitude. There is something to be grateful for every day. Think on that as you relax your body as much as you can. Inhale, exhale. It's actually like, it's very immersive. Like I think for me, that's why the Vision Pro has been so good when often I've been alone or kind of like have been able to just interact with myself or I'm doing something like a solitary like activity. Like I think it's kind of cool that like, for example, let's say I wanted to like leave this window here. I think I can, like I think if I put it there and then I go back inside, I will be able to see it from outside. Yeah, like I can see where I've left it Sorry. over there. No, no, it's fine. So like I've left a screen out there and then let's say for example, I wanted Apple TV. Sorry. I could put Apple TV right here so then now I'm like setting up my home so my TV would go here I have my YouTube video out there of my yoga I could put my notes app over here so now suddenly like my house is becoming this interactive place whereas if I have these on I can interact with my flatmates. Hi, flatmates! Hello. So my final thing on my list is to try out a new recipe. Channeling all of my Greek heritage to make a classic Greek salad. I'm a little bit scared about having a knife around me with this, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I can't really tell the quality of this vegetable right now. It is quite nice with the fact that I don't have to pick up my phone. I don't even know where my phone is right now because I have everything here in my line of vision. So I don't, I don't have to be worried about the fact that my hands are sticky or whatever right now. I can just touch everything because I'm just touching the air. It's like slightly fake feta because as I said, student budget, let's be realistic about this life. I'm about to finish off with this dressing, just gonna add some olive oil, some salt, some pepper, and then pour it over my salad. But I'm also gonna do some reflection, so stay tuned for that. So that's the end of my day with the Apple Vision Pro. The market, let's start at the beginning of my day. Um, that was, if we're talking about sensory overload, that was the sensory overload. It was interesting, I think probably your view of seeing people react to me was more than my own view. Often I was really concentrating on like trying to concentrate on what it needed to happen because you won't be able to maybe see in your view. But for me, the screen sometimes struggled with um, artificial lighting and it would flicker like you would see when you look through a phone. And that was actually really annoying at times. And actually I was feeling, especially in the cheese shop when I was trying to buy eggs, I was actually feeling like a little bit unwell, like kind of like I had motion sickness. It was just so many people. Often people try and catch your eye, but because you have something over it, then they just ignore you which was also frustrating. Seeing the dinosaurs on the metro, I can understand why some people might enjoy it and I can see where that could go in terms of those kind of like gaming or kind of more like childlike interactive experiences that are quite nice. My favorite out of all of them, which is quite funny, was being an actual student, was studying. That was my favorite by far. I loved the fact that I could open multiple windows, that I was able to use the whole space around me, even behind me. Um, to really have this kind of like immersive experience in my studying. It's very easy for me to zone out when I'm wearing the glasses. People will try and have conversations oh with me yeah. um, <laughs> and I will get up a video or I will search something, but they're not realizing that I've added to the conversation because it's only there for me. And unless I share that with them, then it's not possible. So unlike when you look up something on your phone and then you show it to them, it's just for me and me alone. Um, so it's a very solitary act, like activity. I think the meditation or mindfulness app impressed me. It really was very kind of like immersive, so that was nice. I didn't particularly enjoy, for example, cooking. I really enjoy cooking normally. I found just having the Vision Pro on just then meant 
like normally I hit a flow when I'm cooking and I just kind of listen to music and I'm in my own world. By adding the Vision Pro, normally Vision Pro is great to be in your own world, but it kind of just felt cumbersome and often like I was kind of like adding more things into something that already I enjoy, a very kind of simplistic activity. In general, I think overall, I would say that the Vision Pro is best for at home or like solitary kind of activities where you kind of are, would, would already be alone. So if you're kind of on your laptop doing work, if you're at home watching a film, the, that time I think the Vision Pro could be really impressive. Also I'm aware that like it does strain your eyes because you're looking at a screen. I kept saying every time I took it off that it feels like driving. So essentially I feel like my brain is moving and like thinking and kind of multitasking and doing quite a lot of stuff and my eyes are working very hard but in actual fact my body is usually like standing still. Um, this movement I didn't find very difficult if I'm gonna be honest I'm not tired moving it but maybe I'll feel it more tomorrow like maybe my muscles I will wake up in the morning and I'll have like muscle pain um, I hope not but no I like personally I didn't find it too much because I was often being quite physical because I was choosing to put things kind of further away from me but it was quite intuitive in the sense that I could often just keep my hand here and do it like this um, I just think I often preferred being in the physical space so yeah, I think this is definitely not a social object yet, but who knows in the future. You have any plans this evening? I do. I'm going to a pub quiz and I will not be taking the Vision Pro with me. Um, I think we've kind of covered many of the reasons why. Um, and I also feel like it would maybe be low-key cheating.